What's up internet? Jossie Joss and I have another unboxing video for you for the month of August. It's so good. All these boxes are finally showing up at my door. It's pretty much the end of the month, so it's kind of like it's now or never subscription box people, you know, like come on. So today I will be doing the unboxing of the April 2006. Why do I keep saying April? This is like the third or fourth video I've, I've accidentally said April when I meant to say August. The letter A, I don't know what I'm doing. My bad, people. I don't know. But today, I'll be doing the August 2016 unboxing of the Geek Fuel box. All right. As we know, Geek Fuel doesn't have a real theme necessarily. They tend to have just specific items and they kind of follow its own, I guess its own just like path or whatever. Um, there's supposed to be an exclusive Suicide Squad uh, item in here. I mean, it makes sense. It, Suicide Squad came out this month, so a lot of the boxes are tying into that theme of uh, Suicide Squad and stuff. Like, I just did the whole anti-hero theme thing for Loot Crate and the Loot Wear series, so it makes sense. They're jumping on that bandwagon. They tend to do that when these, like, superhero-type movies come out. I mean, that's how they make money, right? All right, so let's see what we got in this month's Geek Fuel Box, the August 2016 box. Cut the tape, flip the flap, and we got the good old Geek Fuel paper. Oh, and stuff flying out of the Geek Fuel paper. That's my bad. Um, it's the little Geek Fuel magazine that they have in there, so that's cool. And of course, Suicide Squad's on the cover. I do. When we flip it open, oh, I see something cool. And we got some very interesting retro stuff going on. I'm excited. All right, let's see what we got. Okay, the magazine I'll look at last, but let's see. This says Geek Fuel Go travel pouch which is really cool because i'm really into pokemon go right now and on the back there's a little paragraph and it says on the way to the gym or just making a quick stop geek fuel go has you covered it's perfect for long journeys when you need to travel light but keep the essentials close at hand geek fuel go travel pouch is the first in a series of many exclusive products that will help you be the very best as you travel across the land I'm excited. Oh my gosh. Oh, that's so cool. So it's a Geek Fuel exclusive pouch. See that? With the little robot and their logo. And you open it up. What is this? And it's like a little, it's like a pouch like this. You can put stuff in it. I'm assuming you can put your phone in there. There's a zipper pouch in the front here. And this, what are these? What is, I'm, fe I'm like feeling it and there's stuff in it and I can't tell what this stuff is. Oh, there's like another, we put like pens back here and some other stuff, I don't know. There's something else that I, oh, there's a, there's a string. So you can wear this around your neck or like a, like on the, on the side, like a pouch. And what are these? Okay. They're these, they're all, there's, there's more than one. It's like, they're like little cards. Hold on. Let's try to open this up. Cause I'm not giving this away. This is keep, I'm keeping this for myself. So, uh, I'm just gonna try to open these up as neatly as I possibly could. That's a thing. Do I have scissors over here? Hang on, hang on internet, I'm gonna find some more. Okay, let's try this again. I'm trying not to damage them. Darn vacuum sealed things that are sealed too well for adults. It's like child proofing stuff that doesn't need to be child proof. Come on. That's dangerous. Let's get that away from my face. There we go. 
There we go. I just need to get in there. Come on. So are these different? Oh, what? Okay, so in the front of the pouch, there's this plastic sleeve thingy. And I don't know if you guys go to many conventions, but this is basically one of those convention pouches. Um, typically, they sell these through different companies. You can get them custom with your like brand logo on them and then you'd sell these or you'd give them away at your respective conventions or conferences and then you'd put the badge, like the badge that gets printed out right here. So you'd have this cool little souvenir with the name of like the con or the conference on it and it's like a, you know, like a free souvenir as it were. And so Geek Fuel decided to go in that route and, but instead of providing a badge, they provided these interchangeable cards. So. The first card they provide you is obviously the Geek Fuel logo. Then you have the Team Mystic logo, Instinct, and of course, Valor. So that's actually really cool. And then you just slide whatever into the front here, and you're on your way to being a Pokemon Master, as it were, because you can store all your goodies in here and when you open it up because it's got the little circle it's like a you know pseudo pokeball very themed that is really cool i like that geek fuel i really do i i will be using this and plus it has this little keychain thing so let's say you have a carabiner um and you can clip it on your belt loop so you don't have to wear it around your neck uh so you can bring this with you like pretty much wherever you go and you can Put your phone in here so it's not like directly in your pocket because trust me i've done the pocket you know putting the pokemon go on my phone even with the battery saver on and putting that phone in my pocket and then walking around when i'm at work i have butt dialed a couple people sorry uh, sorry uh marco dominguez shout out <laughs> i butt dialed and i butt text him apparently something about the uk i don't even know um, I checked my recent call list. Not only did I butt dial him, I butt dialed my sister-in-law, and I butt dialed some random number that's not even a phone number. It's just like, it was like five digits, and that was it. Uh, so this, I, I know I can't wear this at work, but if I'm anywhere else, that will help. It's kind of cool. Plus it's themed and stuff, so way to go, Geek Fuel. I am down with the Pokemon Go pouch thing. That is cool. All right, next in the box. Um, let's grab this other big box here, which is clearly, it's a Geek Fuel, but you can tell by the font, it's clearly themed for Transformers, which is really, really cool. All right. It doesn't feel heavy, so I don't know if it's fragile. Oh, it's the t-shirt. See? Geek Fuel, you getting fancy with your packaging. Y'all are getting money, that's why. All right, so I'm guessing we're doing the t-shirt. It's a gray t-shirt, it's Transformers. And it's pretty straightforward, it's a very retro design. It's Optimus Prime, and it just says protect. So obviously the Autobots here. That is really, really cool though. And it's a Geek Fuel exclusive uh, t-shirt. So um, pretty straightforward design, I like the color. Um, and I'm always a fan of a uh, Transformers, they're really, really cool. And my brothers watched them a lot when we were kids. And obviously, if they were watching TV, I was watching TV with them. And so, uh, that's really awesome. All right, next, we have this Looney Tunes mini series. It's like a mystery mini by Kid Robot of Looney Tunes characters, which is something I, like, never see, ever. Um, I mean, not just saying because I work for the mouse, but just in general, like, I don't see Looney Tunes stuff anymore. Uh, so this is actually really, really nice. It's almost like this is a retro box, like a throwback box. And it fits that it's Thursday. Well, it's not really Thursday anymore. It's like 1 in the morning. But it was Thursday when I woke up this morning. Um, but let's see what mini I got. So there's a bunch of them here. That's the set. 
uh, and there's some more on the other side. So we'll see which one I got. Now that I have the scissors, it's like a lot easier to open stuff, which is kind of funny. All right, open the box. Mystery pouch. Pull the tab, and we got uh what? Oh, who is it? Tasmanian Devil! Oh, and it's a baby Tasmanian Devil! Because he's got braces. And this is a jar. And it says Acme Motion Sickness, which is kind of funny because he's a Tasmanian Devil. And he spins around. So I guess this series is a bunch of like, they're like teenagers, I guess? Yeah, it kind of looks like they're teens. They're teens or they're young or something like that. But uh, yeah, I got the Tasmanian Devil. He's got braces on his teeth. And he's got a little medicine bottle of motion sickness pills, which is kind of funny because, you know, it's a Tasmanian devil. That's cute. That's cute. I didn't know. Uh, is there another cartoon or something that they release Looney Tunes? Like, the younger years or something? A la, you know, similar to, like, Tiny Toon Adventures, but not Tiny Toon Adventures or something? Let me know. Let me know in the comments, guys. All right, next. We got a pin. And it is, oh, it was upside down, so I'm trying to fix it. It is basically the logo. It is an exclusive pin. And is that his name? Is this Fuel? Is that the little robot's name? Because I've been just calling him the little robot guy from Geek Fuel. But if he, Fuel Collectible Pin. So obviously it's an exclusive, so I don't know if they're getting into this or what, but it's a really nice quality pin too. So, fancy. Nice job, Geek Fuel, moving up on the world. All right, next. Next, okay, so Geek Fuel always has some type of Steam downloadable game content in their boxes. And so this month, they decided to partner it up with a magnet set, which is odd. But it's for this game called Dragon Rift, and it's $10 uh, value. Not the magnets, but the game info. And then there's a code back here that you enter on Steam. And it's a Geek Fuel exclusive. So you go to Steam, you enter the code, and you get $10 worth of stuff. And you get this cool magnet set to go with it in the real life. So that's pretty interesting. It's like a Cthulhu looking thing, a jar with eyeballs, a cupcake with a candle, a weird dragon face thing, a sword and a helmet, and just looks like a almost like a foot pine guy from Ninja Turtles but I know it's not so but interesting um, down with the magnets I don't have steam so I mean the, the game thing I mean I can get steam from like my iron right, anyway, moving on all right uh, I think this is the going to be the last item in the box aside from the the loot crate loot crate the geek fuel magazine so this is a comic it is Suicide Squad Rebirth, the number one, and is a limited edition comic from DC. So, and then there's a cert certificate of authenticity uh, that is authenticated. This copy of the Suicide Squad Rebirth number one with the Geek Fuel exclusive cover as a limited edition series. So that's really cool that they give you give gave us the um, this exclusive cover for the number one of this this Rebirth of Suicide Squad. So. Because of the popularity, I guess, they're bringing it back, and that's kind of awesome. So that's reintroducing it to a new generation of comic fans. So, alright, so here's the card, and the card says what everyone gets. So, everyone got the downloadable Steam game, Dungeon Rift, with the magnets. Um, everyone got the collectible enamel pin, which is a exclusive, and it says... This pin speaks to great things ahead. The first in a new series. Now you can have fuel close to your heart. So yeah, the robot's name is Fuel. So that makes sense why he's in the logo. But I'm guessing they're starting a set of pins now that Geek Fuel is making themselves, which is cool. Um, everyone got the Looney Tune miniseries uh, blind box. So there's various characters. You could have gotten one of any of the characters. So I got Taz. And the one in the picture they have is, um, they have a Martian, they have a uh, Porky Pig, and then they have, uh, 
What's his name? What is your name? Oh, I'm blanking. The big, the, he goes, at, I'll say, I'll say, I'll say, you know, that big rooster guy. Gosh, I can't remember his name. It's been too long. I'm feeling old. My bad, guys. Um, and everybody got the Geek Fuel Go Travel Pouch, uh, which is a Geek Fuel exclusive. And it has the different cards that you can put in the front. Um, so that's really awesome. And then the Suicide Squad comic issue one. And then they had a limited edition variant, which was made the cover like a black and white. I didn't get that one. I only got the colored one. So that's cool. So if you got the variant, that's awesome. And then everyone got the Transformers Protect shirt. Uh, right there. Everybody got that one. So that's pretty awesome. Um, let's see if the comic, not the comic, the magazine has anything interesting in it. I'm, sure, I'm assuming it's talking about Suicide Squad. Oh, well, it's, oh, that's funny. So there's an ad for the pouch, and <laughs> it's reminiscent of those old, like, early 2000 um, iPod ads. I catch, I train, I travel. So that's pretty funny. And it has the silhouettes wearing the, the, the badge holder thing. I think that's pretty cool. That's awesome. Maybe I'll use it when I go to a con, and I'll put my badge there. Uh, unless I'm staffing it, then that would be completely useless, but interesting. Uh, they talk about the top ten Jokers that have been portrayed in media so far, so that's pretty awesome. Uh, they talk about Golden, Golden Silver Age in the comics, the TV Joker, the 1970s Joker in the comic, Frank Miller's, Joker, uh, The Killing Joke, which is an animated movie that came out recently that kind of, I want to say, like, or, you know, it was like, there was like a whole DC renaissance happening uh, in movie theaters uh, the past summer, so, because you had the Batman vs. Superman movie, and then you had The Killing Joke, and then you also had Suicide Squad coming out, all within, like, four months of the summer, like, from May to now, uh, so it's like, yeah, DC is just kind of, like, trying to fight back to catch up to Marvel. So we'll see how it goes in that sense. Um, then they talk about the Batman movie Joker, the original one with Jack Nicholson, um, animated series Joker, uh, which was voiced by Mark Hamill, who's awesome, and one of the best uh, voice actors that I know. I mean, he's a really good actor too, you know, whatever. Luke Skywalker, meh, but he's a good voice actor too. <laughs> and he's actually a really, really cool guy. Um, being able to meet him uh, last year, two years ago, last year. Whenever Star Wars Celebrations was in Anaheim. I totally don't remember. I think it was last year. Yeah, it's been such a long time. Uh, he was very, very humble and sweet. And he did the Joker voice for a fan in line who was dressed as Harley. So that was awesome. Um, Dark Knight Joker. Uh, he was good. Uh, R.I.P. Heath Ledger. Uh, you can't get out. You know, he epitomized the role to the point where it basically really seriously drove him mad. I mean... That's in, it's nuts, literally. Um, Arkham Joker, I, I don't I don't play the game, so I don't know. And then Suicide Squad Joker, uh, it's a different it's a different iteration. So uh, I, I would say it's more playful and violent, but not as dark as like Heath Ledger's version. So, but those are all the Jokers that you talk about. It's really really cool. Um, seeing the differences and how they're how the character is portrayed throughout the years. Um, they fe feature cosplayers like usual. I like that. That's always awesome. Getting that, you know, getting into the community like that. Um, oh wow! I'm not even joking. That's in the con. I did not read this prior to filming this video. Uh, I said, uh, did I say Renaissance or something? But they're saying rebirth. Uh, but pretty much what I had been saying is just DC's just come kind of coming back, trying to fight back. Um, there's a whole entire article about nerd therapy. Um, I had linked to them before in a previous Geek Fuel video. Uh, they're really cool. So I'm surprised that, I'm like, wow, they have their own like two page ad in the, the, uh, the magazine now. So big ups to them. Uh, they talk about games. I'm not a huge gamer anymore. And they have the featured YouTubers again like always and then talks about the downloadable game that was in the box and 
some of the gift items, like the ultimate geek gift items here. Some random things, figures and other stuff, and then pictures. And that's it. And that is all that is in the August 2016 Geek Fuel box. Um, I like this box this month. It was actually really, really cool. Um, a lot of kind of throwbacky type things that I appreciate uh, given my age and stuff. So I like that a lot. Um, my favorite item of the box this month? It's going to be difficult. I'm torn between the shirt and the pouch, honestly. Um, I like the shirt. Uh, Optimus Prime is one of my favorite Transformers, of, specifically of the Autobots. Um, and I like the pouch because it's, it's clever, it's useful, and it's very current. Like, it's in the now. Like, they took time to, like, design that and stuff. So, uh, those are my two, I guess you can say my two favorite items of the box. So, I like that. Um, if you guys uh, saw something in this box that you liked, uh, go ahead and mention it in the comment section below. Um, if you guys are interested in getting a Geek Fuel box of your own, I'll go ahead and put a link in the description below. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up, and uh, if you haven't already done so, please subscribe to my channel. I have a bunch of unboxing and tasting videos on there right now. Um, I will have more. Uh, I have my Universal Yums box is on the way. It's not here. It'll probably be arriving in a few days, so I'm excited. Uh, trying to think if I have any other regular boxes on the way. I think I got them all. Uh, I, I could be wrong. Oh no, I haven't got my Marvel Collector Core. That's the big one this month. I have not received it. The Spider-Man box. Uh, yeah, I'm waiting on that guy. That guy is not here yet. So I have that and I have Universal Yums and I think that's it for the month of August. So hopefully they'll show up before next week because the end of the month is next week. Uh, but we'll see what happens with that. Uh, so stay tuned, please. Um, thank you for all the support you've given me so far. I appreciate it a lot. Thanks for subscribing and watching. And I uh, hope you guys have a great night. Okay, bye.